ignore this um, toothpaste stain. I am just trying to get my life together. I've been back in New York for about a week and honestly, it's really starting to feel like home and slowly the apartment just feels so much more like cozy and lived in and there's actually a few updates that i want to show you guys of the apartment like clearly we have a table but this is actually not our final table we have another table coming we kept like the packaging and we're going to try to return it when the other table gets here but today is sunday and yoni and i decided that we're gonna have a super chill Sunday. We've kind of been like doing work every single day since we got to New York. We constantly have this mentality of like we can do a little bit of work, we can do a little bit of this, we can answer this email, we can reach out to this person, do a little bit of that every single day and we never take like a true break. This morning I was like you know what today we're going to have a full day off. I'm gonna go get breakfast out but before that I want to show you guys our updates for the apartment. As you guys saw we have our little table situation here. The table that we're waiting for is kind of it's gonna be a little bit bigger also still a round table but the legs is gonna be like one center leg and then it spreads at the bottom so we can actually tuck the chairs in and then here we actually have a couch. We decided to go with a gray couch. It's really nice and big and you can fit three people. You can also like remove these off of here so it becomes wider and someone can easily sleep here. Like if we have family coming by, we've got this rug from Ruggable and I actually love it. And I never really thought that I would go for like a red burgundy rug but i think it looks so nice and cozy we're planning to like do a bunch of stuff with this wall like try to put some type of like shelving also here and artwork and just these alone are make the apartment so much more livable and then the kitchen is pretty much the same we added like a little bit of storage here for spices and stuff have this fruit basket that we hung right here that i really love but it's hanging a little low so we're gonna actually try to put it like hang it from higher up. Hi. Hey guys. <laughs> we are going to get a storage unit that I said we ordered and it's gonna go right here. It's gonna come about like halfway through. So we still are gonna have space on this side for something. We don't know what exactly yet. This is uh, still TBD. And that's pretty much it for the updates. But I do really love how the apartment is turning out. And we're definitely also like, we have so much just wall space and I definitely don't want to clutter it just because there's space doesn't mean you have to add like a bunch of things to it but I definitely want to add something here I think this wall on the other side we're actually gonna leave it empty we're gonna get a projector so that way we can watch stuff while we're in bed which is gonna be so cute I'm gonna get ready take off this toothpaste stained shirt and we're gonna head out get some breakfast and then carry on with this beautiful Sunday Clinton Street because it, there's a two hour wait so in the meantime because that's a long time and it's like noon right now we haven't had any food we uh, grabbed some random things from Paws Cafe just across the street I got this curry chicken salad and then Yoni got half of a tuna sandwich just to like hold us over Okay, so since we have to wait two hours or what now is like an hour and a half, we might as well like go check out a few stores around here. I just really want to go here because apparently their pancakes are crazy. And I'm newly a pancake girl. I used to not be really into pancakes that much. Yoni doesn't really care for pancakes, but I do. I like pancakes, but I just hate when they're swimming in simple syrup. I mean, in maple syrup, in maple but that's like syrup. the whole point. It's like it's a like vehicle soggy for pancakes. Never. But that's the point. <laughs> that's what point? To work to be soggy. But why is that the point? That's just it. I don't know.
the text exactly two hours and three minutes later. So good thing that we had that little snack because we would have been very angry, like hangry at this that point. Been very, very angry. Salty before I eat something sweet, especially like this stack of pancakes. So I got some bacon and also some apple sausage, or no, some chicken apple sausage. And then Yoni got chicken and waffles. time to walk it off because that was a lot 20 pounds later <laughs> honestly I would say it was worth the wait you only got the chicken and waffles I think they were better than the blueberry pancakes like the blueberry pancakes are good but it's just a lot so it just depends what you're into it's giving you told these are the vibes today right now we are headed to a little store in like Chinatown area called Coming Soon. It's this homeware, home decor store that I've been trying to go to. It's about a 20 minute walk, which is perfect because the weather is so cute and it's sunny, but like not. And... Oh, Remember we came here? Damn, there's hella people waiting here. Damn, I'm like getting a cramp. Can we slow down? <laughs> How can you even think of eating anything right now? But damn, New York right now is a vibe. Like the sunny, slightly sunny, everybody's like cozy with all their layers and coats. of our new purchases. I'm very excited because we got this from Coming Soon. There were so many like cute things there. You can like really go crazy with that, but I feel like our apartment is more like cozy, um, I don't know, like chill, like it's not too in a specific vibe. vibe. <laughs> we only got one thing, but I'm excited. I hope that it fits. I also love this packaging. Look how cool it is. We got a bathroom rug and I think it's from this brand called Cold Picnic. We actually had a rug from them in our old apartment. But it has a butt on it. Look how cute. Little booty. So we gotta see where to put it. I have a feeling we might have to like move it around a little bit so we can open the door because it's pretty thick and the door doesn't have a lot of space under it so let's figure it out. So basically, 
there's some ways we can do this. We can either have it here so that we can close the door whenever someone showers. Like we're just gonna, you know, close the door and then drag it so that they actually like step on it out of the shower. It's very, very squishy though. Okay, so it's time to figure out what we're gonna make for dinner. And I got this book in the mail a few days ago and I haven't made anything from it. If you don't know, this is Molly Boz's second cookbook. I had her first and I made several recipes for that even though not as many as I wanted to. Um, my sister actually has that book and I might steal it back from her when we go to Seattle. But she just came out with her new book called More is More. I haven't made anything from it and I was like, you know, tonight we had a lovely day with no work, with just like us doing our thing and really having a day off so what better way to close it out than like a really good meal that maybe takes like a little bit more care or steps and it's not just something from my brain or from the internet we landed on this crispy oriakete with spicy sausage and collard ragu it's actually pretty quick um not super complicated but i do have to go to grab a few ingredients that we don't have like the pasta and the greens and like the sweet sausage we gotta get stuff for the week anyways let's go to the store to get our ingredients is that colorful? Red. we got potatoes oh and it's Okay, so right now we're looking for collard greens because that's what the recipe calls for, but okay. it seems like they don't have any. I don't think that's collard greens, babe. No, I think it is. Does this look like collard greens for y'all? Let's see if they have it. Swiss chard, kale, kohlrabi. I think it might be collard greens. But we could also do kale. No, let's do what the recipe says. Nah, let's do kale. Okay, you guys. This is where we this fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we're improvising. I just don't know if those are collard greens. That's the only thing. It's not listed up do you, here. Do you, so what do you think the recipe says collard greens? But what if I get these and they're not collard greens? That's when you ask somebody some shit. I don't want to ask anyone. Hold on, I'm about to go ask somebody. Damn, does anybody work here? Yeah, nobody works here. I think these are collard greens. Let me look at a picture. We're gonna Google what collard greens look like. Just another day in the life, y'all. Yep, that definitely looks the same. I can confirm I was right. You just gotta trust your intuition. All right, let's go. Of course I gotta carry everything. Okay, now we're looking for sweet Italian sauce. Oh, right here. What else? Um, okay. we need salted butter and that's it. Alright, let's this go find. We are really big into the salt, into salted butter, but like it has to have flakes and chunks of salt grains in the butter. So when you eat it, it's like crunchy salt. That's the type of butter that we're on. And just so you guys know, last year she was so into butter. No, no, no. Salted this butter. is specifically like, I you wouldn't see, use this butter in you, like baking. You see how you never let me finish? <laughs> Butter with sea salt crystals. This is what you want right here, people, okay? You always gotta grab the ones from the back. Okay. Because people grab this and other times. There we go. That's it, we're leaving, um, right? That's it, we're done, yeah. Do we want anything else? Any spontaneous grab? Do we want any? Oh, Earl Grey tea. No, I yes. told you I'm more of a Victorian kind of guy. All right. Check out. Everyone in the comments is gonna see how you don't listen to what I want. Do you want to get Victorian no, breakfast? No, 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 you, it's too late, it's too late. She's trying to make it up, guys. Okay, now the question my... is, <laughs> are we doing self-checkout or not? Because we have like hella things, but I don't feel like interacting with anyone right now. Do we have jelly? Yes, we do, brand new. Okay.
45 minutes. Can you even play? Oh, so what? You don't get to request a switch when a person calls you. I'm sure he's standing right Okay, I'm taking a little break from editing. I got through a good rough chop of the footage. We just got a... The struggle of yet having to buy a tripod. Here are the rest of our boxes. We're gonna put that together like later, not right now because I need to go outside. I haven't been outside all day. It was a gorgeous day. Um, now it's a little bit more cloudy. The sun, I don't think is out anymore. But I just need to like feel the fresh air and go for a walk. I've been cooped up in here all day. So we're gonna head over to a bookshop. I've been meaning to, I don't know where to put you because I don't have a lot of surfaces here. I've been meaning to just get like a few books. I want to, you know, fall time makes me think of reading and being like cozy or going to the park and reading. So I'm gonna go over to a bookstore. I also have to do some Amazon returns and then have our little cute walk outside because it's so like nice and crisp. This whole video is uh, low-key indirectly sponsored by this book. Now for dinner, we are gonna have some salmon and then we're gonna have our leftover pasta from last night, which was incredible. I feel like that's not gonna be enough food because I'm pretty hungry, didn't really have lunch and neither did Yoni. So we are going to also make these olive oil drowned potatoes with lemony onions and herbs prepared the onions and the potatoes are boiling. See if they are ready. Yeah, they definitely still have a while to go. And while I'm just waiting, let me show you the books that I got at the bookstore. I ended up going to two different bookstores. The first one, they were both like used books, but the first one was like really hard to find things in. And even though it was really big, they randomly had like even vintage clothes there or thrifted clothes there. So I went to a second bookstore and we found four books. It did take me a while because they're not really arranged in like a great way. Two by the same author, never read anything by her, Patricia Heisman. The owner of the bookstore told me like she's having a moment right now. Like anytime he gets books in from her, they fly off the shelves right away. They're both like mystery thriller vibes. It's The Price of Salt. And this one sounds really, 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 really interesting. The Talented Mr. Ripley, which this actually was a, it sounded really familiar to me. And then I realized because it's actually a movie. And then I found Found this one called Mild Vertigo and it's by Mieko Kanai analyzing the day-to-day -day mundane endless stream of minute forms of lonely life and middle-class homes and it's like a really cool analysis on that so it sounded very interesting and then the second one is called Lemon and it's by Kwan Yasun. It's uh, some type of like kind of murder mystery sort of thing even though the cover of it does not look like that at all. I'm gonna finish cooking, check on my potatoes, and then we're gonna have dinner. You know what? What? Gonna next soup. I can stay with it on budget. Nice. I forgot you were here.